Ha! Oh, you thought I was done? You thought these foolish swamp monsters had defeated me? Well, they haven't. Not yet, at least. And we are here to get some more things. What things do we need? We need iron. I know that may come as a surprise to some of you, but it's true. Oh god, it is an evil being. We must quickly get over here before the evil being realizes that I'm here. Oh, wait, that's not as smart as I thought. I need to transport the, the, the portal. We need, we need to get the portal. Yes, I forgot. We, we're not, we're not quite done. Here we go. Okay, that could stay there. Deconstruct this, and that. And now we can go move it over here. And uh, we're gonna need a little bit of wood to finish it, but that's okay. I just realized this is a Draugr thing. Quickly, destroy it! We must destroy it! There we go. Boom! Boom! Fegvasir. Hmm. Another bone mass location that's not too far. Okay. Okay, here's some extra wood. That's perfect. A little bit of wood will let us build a treasure chest. Now, some of you have wanted to see another Valheim stream, and, well, the fact of the matter is that the Valheim streams are mainly for helping to keep the YouTube series online. And I haven't had to need, like, I've had plenty of YouTube um, content because of all of these, you know, all, all of the iron we've had to do. However, I'm at the point now where I'm going to have to transport the iron back and resupply, and that will absolutely be the perfect kind of thing for another you. Oh, no! It is the monster of sadness! I don't want to be sad! Leave me alone! You ugly! You dumb! You stupid! See, I have escaped to here. Proving that he's a stupid. Uh-oh. You wish to face me? No! He's pooped on me! Okay. Yeah, we're, we're off to a great start so far. Now let's see if we can actually do the thing. Oh! No! Why would it be here still? Maybe we can stealthily construct my things. And it won't notice. Um... We just gotta name it Home 2. And then we just need to build a... Oh, I didn't want to use one of those! Doesn't matter. This is all gonna get, like, portaled out. Okay. We're clear! Into the crypts we go! Equip the, um... No, uh, this is fine. I seek the iron. Oh! They call me the Iron Seeker because I... Well, I seek the iron. Actually, I don't know if anyone calls me that. Chains and wood and other things that I probably need. I see they're still giving me these mushrooms. I don't think these mushrooms are very important, but what do I know? Like, those mushrooms were pretty good in the beginning of the game, but, you know, they... Oh, this barely had any... anything at all! There's a little bit of a piece right here. 
Okay, we got one iron out of that. Well, it wasn't very large in mass, so I guess that makes sense. This dungeon better do better, though. A single piece of iron is not satisfactory. Let's try this side now. This looks like it leads somewhere. So I feel more hopeful. Cut through the gushy stuff. Okay, looks like no one's here. That means we can finish off the remainder. Right here. Got it. Uh, we're up to five. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Oh, and it's a dead end. Okay. So far, this seems like a fairly simple one. Okay, never mind. It has quickly grown more complex. Ah, who has come to greet me on the other side? This is a really big mass of it, I gotta say. It's like everywhere. Oh, I, I actually ambushed him. That's awesome. You were a fool. To think someone with only one arm had a chance against me. Okay. Oh, God, it's a body pile. Quickly. Okay, we squished it. That'll stop the Draugr from appearing. This is a big, big mass of muddy iron scrap, so hopefully we can get some decent iron out of it. Hopefully. Got two iron out of that one. Nope, we got some right here. Whoops. Okay, I think we clear. Oh, wait. Where is it? There's a piece right here. Got it. Okay, what are we up to? We're up to 12 pieces. Oh, we better drop this off. Because um, 290 is very close to our encumberment limit. Uh, iron goes in there. Okay, yeah, I had my doubts at first, but this crypt is starting to shape up. Let's just keep going. Cleaning up the gushy gushy. Okay, I can't see a thing. Oh, there's a little piece right here. Good. Right there. Rawr! Got it. Wait, right here. Got it. Wait. Right there. I think it's too deep inside. Whatever, good enough. We're gonna hack our way into here. This thing he thinks it can keep its iron from me, I'll show him who keeps the iron from who. Wow, there it's a lot of big I, in some ways I kind of feel like I'm like bl unblocking like clogged arteries or something. There we go.
Oh, I'm at my limit again. Jeez. Okay, we're getting a lot more iron than I thought we were. Let's go ahead and drop this off. Probably need to get another rested bonus again since we're about to run out. So we'll drop this iron off. We're almost up to a full stack. That's good news. Then we can file this crap away in the um, expedition chests. Just like this, try to keep them stacked up if possible. Which it looks like they are not stacking too well. That's fine though. There's no need to be picky. Now we can just dry off. And yeah, like we're gonna be bringing a lot of iron home. I think we're gonna have like, you know, out of about 200, I actually, you know, like uh, three stacks is basically 100 iron. We're probably gonna be bringing over 200 iron home. This one is gonna, this one's turning out to be a really, a really decent one. One that I, I'm very satisfied with what we're getting at this, this, I, if the islands are more like this one, obviously, okay, I'd prefer if they had more than three crypts on each of these swamp islands, but. This one is not bad. I could definitely see us making a lot of stuff with these ones. Okay, time to get back to it. The Sunken Crypts. We haven't even checked that forward area. Maybe the forward area is actually a really short one, and these are all the long paths. Who knows? Okay, let's check over here. Looks like a dead end. Some stuff in here. Alright, let's begin cutting. We're unclogging the arteries. Come on, in we go. Okay, this one is a this one ends with uh, mushroom treasure room. I'll take everything. Little piece right here, I see. Come on, right there. Awesome. Okay, so we've cleaned out this section. Let's keep let's let's lay the uh, the paths that go straight forward for last. One piece of iron there, up to two pieces of iron. That's what I like to see. Give me the iron. Here's a piece right here. What are we up to? We got 12 pieces of iron. Oh, it's pretty decent, actually. Wow, this path continues on as well. Do the side path as usual. Can't see. There's a piece right there. Come on. Give it here. There we go. Um, 273, we can keep going. This is one of these big, thick ones. I think I don't think this one goes anywhere either. I think this is a dead end. I think we would have seen some light at the end of the tunnel if it actually led somewhere. Right there. Raw. Got it. Pretty clean, I would say. Okay, let's move on. To the forward section. Let's see if let's see if this goes further on or if it is a dead end.
Oh, looks like we found our old friends. No, I knocked him too far away. There we go. Oh my god, I just love that ad. That ad gear spin attack is just so useful. Okay, looks like we found another portion. Not before I clean these up, though. Yep, I see light at the end of the tunnel. That means that it continues onwards. Good. Oh, this area looks ceremonial. And it looks like my inventory is full. Or I hit my encumberment limit, rather. Works for me. Let's check to see how much iron we've extracted. About one and a half stacks. So I would say this is about equal right now. You know, I think anything past this is kind of a little more iron than I would have expected. Works for me, though. Oh, it continues on! Look at this! That's what I'm talking about. Piece right around here. And there's a piece right here. Okay. All right, so this place keeps going. Let's cut through this side then. Through the ushy gushy. Day 10. Who would know the difference? We are inside a building squishing the ushy gushy. Look at this. This so looks like a clogged artery. We're just unclogging things. This just looks like another Sarah. Wow, it continues on. Good gravy. Let's get all of, oh my, my pick broke, holy crap. I forgot to repair the pick. Not a bad problem to have, considering that it means that we're just using the pick up like crazy. Now we haven't gotten too good, we haven't really gotten lucky on, um, what do you, what's the word I'm looking for? We haven't gotten lucky on um, getting iron in chests, I feel. Most of the iron has been just from mining the scraps, which has been really good for the scraps. Like, really, a ton of, um... There we go. An absolute ton of iron just from, like, mining the heaps. But it wouldn't be... It would be even better if we got some iron from the, uh... From the treasure chests as well. Because they are a viable source of additional iron. There we go. Back into the thick of it. I require, I must have the iron. Okay. How far do these things go? It's funny, like the first crypts I did, I was so like cautious about it. You know, I'm, I'm not saying I'm not cautious anymore, but we're able to kind of just get in here and get the job done now, it feels. A little bit over here. Looks fine to me. Okay, no iron in here, unfortunately. Mushroom treasure room. Oh, this one is just a big old mass of it. A little bit of iron there I saw us pick it up. Like, the leather scraps are really common. I wonder, I mean, like, are we going to be getting another recipe for leather scraps? Like, what else would we use them for? So that one was a dead end. I 
Okay, this is another dead end, so we're just gonna clean this up. Come on, bring out the torch. There's some right there. Oh, I see some wedged in there. No. Yeah, tried. Okay, so that's the way out. So let's go on the right side. There's a little piece right there. I feel like this is another dead end. Oh yeah, dead ends into a mushroom treasure room. Okay, that's fine. We're up to seven pieces of iron. Okay, now for this piece. Come on, give me iron. If you're not gonna give me a treasure chest full of iron, let these muddy piles have iron. There we go. All the sides are done and we can cut into the middle. You wish to face me? You meet your end. Oh, it keeps going on. Every time you think it's done, it keeps going on. More ooze. Okay, let's... Focus on the side paths again. I mean, look at this. The pick is already like about 40% beaten down. Okay, this was a dead end. That simplifies things a bit. Got it. Yeah. Take the side. Now that our rested benefit is gone, we're not going to get our stamina back as quickly. So that will slow us down a little bit. The benefit is that we are raking in... Oh, we got 19 iron. Yeah, we can't pick up any more, so perfect opportunity to go back and just redo everything. I feel like this is the last chamber. I mean, I would be so surprised if it just continues on, but at the same time, you know, I don't have any other reason. It's just a feeling I've, I've got. Let's see what we're up to. Two stacks of iron. That's really nice. Maybe we can get a third stack. That's probably wishful thinking. I mean, the other one had three stacks of iron, so... Let's go ahead and deposit all of this in a spot. Most of these are already fully stacked. Nice. All right, in we go. Now to dry off, and what we can do is get back in there. Alright, and this time I remember to repair my weapon. But can I remember how to get back to that area? Oh, straightforward. That's simple enough. Oh yeah, we're heading this way. Alright, 
back through the arteries, back through like the like clogged up arteries. Good. Okay. Now we can punch through these. Oh, this might not have a... There might not be any light at the end of the tunnel. This might be the last one. Ah, yes. It dead ends into a mushroom treasure room. Oh, man. This one was... Uh, this was a lot of mining. That's all of that. Let's see if there's anything I missed. Wow. We got it all. Oh, I need to eat. Just realized that. Okay, so how much did we get? We got another four iron. I kind of want to count up the iron just to see how much we're going to be walking away with. Because, I mean, it's pretty impressive. It's a good, it's a solid quantity. So let me put this in there. Let's go drop these back off at our base. And then what we're going to do is take a count of how much, um... How much iron is remaining? And that means a lot of this, we're going to send this all back to base as well, and then we can get smelting. Oh, it's going to take a while to run all this iron home. Wow, it's, it's going to be time consuming. Because, I mean, like, okay, I'm not running the iron in the sense that, um... I'm not running the iron back to base. Like, obviously, we're going to set sail on a boat, but we're going to have to run the iron to the boat. That's the catch. Okay, so let's see here. We've got 30, 60, we got 72 iron here. Let's go ahead and rename this. Sunken Crypt Loot. So we got 72 here. Then we'll see what we got at that one. We just round it to 70, use round numbers. This one has, um, let's just call it 60. Let's say 75 uh, altogether. So 75 and a 60, was that, like 115-ish? One twenty-ish. What is that? Where's my calculator at? Uh, it is seventy-five plus sixty. Yes. Wait. No. So I said seventy-five plus sixty is one thirty-five. I knew that sounded a little low. So we're up to one thirty-five. Now let's go over here to that other one, and we'll add that one on top of it, and then we'll see how much we get. Because, like I said, I think we're going to be. I think we. Like I said, this one seems like it was way better than the other one. As far as the amount of iron we raked in. There's the crypt right there. Let's see what we got. And over here we got 369, um, like 105. So plus 105. No, I said plus... 105. 220 iron. Wow. That is going to be a lot of iron to transport back because the um, the camp is over there. Jeez. Let's, like, I, what if there's another crypt right there? There. I mean, there, there probably isn't. I would have noticed it, but let me go reveal that last part. Might as well. Don't see the harm in it. Never know. You might find something. Definitely looks like a certling spawner. Might as well chart it. I don't see the harm in it. Oh, the big stroke of this is just... Makes it so much easier. Okay, so this is a Sertling spawner. 
And overall, I would say that's probably good enough for today's episode. All right, that means I'm going to have to do a stream in order to transport all of the cargo back first to the ship. Then I'm going to have to take it from the ship to the base. And then from the base, I'm going to have to smelt all of it. I can't wait to build the two-handed axe. I'm really interested in, in uh, building the two-handed axe. I want to try that weapon out. That just feels very Viking-esque, you know, stereotypical, like, two-handed weapon. Seems very cool. Like I, I kind of like, I think this casts better light on my character. This is a good, like, yeah, like that, just like this. That's a cool looking, I think that's a cool looking, um, cool looking screenshot right there. That looks pretty sweet. Anyways, yep, so stay tuned for the Valheim stream. In fact, the stream might already have been going on because I'm recording this the day before. But yep, they're all, you, like I said, get on the Discord so that you know when the streams are happening. Follow me on my uh, Twitch stream, Get Good Fox. Everything I have is just all Get Good Fox everywhere I go. But anyways, yep, there's going to be a stream, then we'll get back to it. Having a lot of fun. It's, it's an enjoyable game. Even though we do have to get a lot of iron, I am very much looking forward to what I'm going to do with the iron when I get back. Anyways, like the video if it was entertaining, subscribe for future Valheim content, and and of course, remember that you don't have to be good to get good.